Hi everyone, today I want to show you a browser-based music app that I made, it's called Zupiter. Uh, when you go to the URL z.musictools.live, uh, you see an empty canvas. Uh, that's because this app allows you to create uh, your own synthesizer from scratch. So it's kind of like a modular synthesizer, and you can create different types of nodes. Uh, like here I'm creating an audio output, and I'll connect a sawtooth oscillator to that, then I can add a knob that will control the frequency of the oscillator and I can set uh, like the maximum value to 300 Hertz and then when I click play I can create a sound of uh, any frequency that I want and I can control that with the knob um, obviously it's not very interesting so far but you can do a lot more uh, with it than that you can actually uh, create some interesting uh, synthesizers with multiple oscillators uh, like here I have multiple sawtooth waves that are uh, detuned and uh, when I click play here I can play these uh, with my keyboard <laughs> There's also some uh, delay effect in here, and again, I can control different parameters like the how much of the reverb I want, or the delay time, etc. And I also have some uh, distortion here. Uh, what makes this slightly more interesting, even, is that. Uh, you can't see it on the screen right now, but I have a MIDI controller connected to my computer that has some physical knobs on it, and if I double click on the knob and then I move the knob on my controller, then I can control it uh, directly with the hardware. I can also play the synthesizer with uh, a hardware MIDI controller. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that makes use of the web MIDI API for uh, MIDI inputs and uh, web audio API to uh, put the sounds. There's also a sequencer in here um, and so you can create uh, different patterns on, the, on a grid and you can switch the patterns as you're playing and connect them to whatever uh, sound synthesis you want. <laughs> kind of play with the knobs as the sound is playing to change the characteristics. Dispatch is uh, pretty interesting because it has two LFOs that control the resonance of the filters as well as delay. So yeah, uh, this app is not perfect. It has a number of uh, of limitations. Uh, like right now, I still haven't made it possible to disconnect uh, nodes. So if you want to disconnect a node, you have to delete it. I'm going to fix that. Uh, very soon. I have a number of features that are on my to-do list uh, to make this uh, more interesting. Uh, but I, I th still think it's a pretty interesting tool if you, you want to learn about sound design and like how how the sausage is made, so to speak, in terms of like how to create uh, different sounds. It's also a really fun program to uh, to experiment with, uh, with a variety of, of things. Uh, like what what happens if I connect this node to this other node in this way? What happens if I add a filter here? Or you know, should I put the filter before the delay or after the delay? Or why not two filters, etc. etc. Um, yeah. So with this app, I'm hoping to build a community. I have created a subreddit that you can access just by clicking the red button at the top here, and it brings you right to the Music Tools subreddit. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you're interested, uh, please try it out. Oh, I guess the last thing I should mention is that one of the cool features of this app is that uh, if you create a synth with it, you can just click the share button here 
and then you can you can share the synth that you've created and it'll be visible on the browse page so then you can just send uh, the link to that to uh, to any of your friends and they they can try it and play with it etc uh, so there's kind of like a community angle to this where people can uh, remix and, and modify things that other people have created uh, yeah so that's it I hope you like it and uh, if you like it or don't like it uh, go on uh, go on the subreddit let me know what you think uh, love to hear your feedback bye bye